Matt here with Mr. Energy. Hey, we're back and we are welding a handrail. First thing we're gonna do is clean the steel using some clean rags and lacquer thinner. Just wipe all four edges and get all the oily, greasy film that's protecting the steel from rusting. We have our cut list. We're gonna start cutting material. Always double check my measurements. I still use the speed square even though the saw is set up at the right angle just so I can look down the blade to get a nice straight even cut. So once we have all of our parts cut, we're gonna start welding the rail I've got some scrap pieces. We're just creating a little jig, making sure, double checking our angles and making sure everything is flush. And we start with little tack welds and flipping it over and welding both sides once it's clamped nice and secure. So now we're ready to tack weld the cap rail on. Getting it tacked on both sides and flipping it over, clamp it really good. And now I'm welding about a half inch of weld every 12 to 15 inches down the cap rail. We've done a previous video on filling the gap. Pretty basic, you just cut the part that you need. And I like to weld a little nail or a screw or something to hold it to allow you to get it in place while you're welding. And because this is a handrail, we just like to grind and sand everything nice and smooth on all edges and get all the rough spots just so it feels good while you're holding on to the handrail. Last thing we're doing here is putting the brackets for bolting it to the concrete. I call them foot plates. They're four inch by four inch plates. They work great for attaching a post to concrete. So just showing you some finished welds here. Not too bad for a handrail. I think that's all for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Keep working hard, be creative, and always do your best. See you next time.